Hello everybody and welcome back to Pilates. My name is Emer, I'm the Arts North Going Movement Work Coordinator and I'm going to take you through a Pilates session today. Please only take part in the session if you feel fit and well to do so. As well, the description box below the video, have a quick read of that before we begin. Before we start folks, you won't need any equipment for today's session. If you want to grab some cushions or pillows to make it a bit more comfortable for you when you're on the floor, that's grand. You won't need a towel or anything like that today done the previous videos. We're going to get set up into good posture. Pilates posture, shoulders, your feet, shoulder distance apart, knees slightly soft, spine long and strong, shoulders pulled back, down and relaxed. And just take a few deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just arrive on your mat, arrive at your practice, forget about the stresses of the day. Side lunges now. 
Jab, both toes facing forward. Up nice and tall. We're going to take a deep breath here. However, I'm ready. I'm going to keep the chest up. Where my arms are to keep the chest up. I'm going to exhale and step out to the side. Making sure my knee doesn't move my toes. And I'm going to come back in on an inhale. Okay, I see him side. I want to stick with. Exhale out. Inhale up. Back up, nice and slow and 
steady back up to standing. Take your time, head and exhale as it come up. Shoulders roll back, take a breath. Hands to the front of the body this time. Inhale again, exhale, top of the chin into the chest. Hands out the front of the body to wherever we feel comfortable. We stay there, take a few breaths. Never holding the breath. And on our next exhale, back up to standing. Roll out that whole lower back. Keep feeling that stretch on the backs of the legs. Roll the shoulders back. The top, taking a breath. Well done. Okay, let's bring the feet a little bit wider than shoulder distance this time. Hands again, stuck the front of the body. Okay, in breath, prepare. Exhale. Coming down, we're not tucking our chin into our chest this time. Keep the chin away from the chest. Just coming down to where we feel comfortable. And when you're ready, just bring the hands off the legs into the middle and just let the fingers dangle. Give the fingers a little wriggle. Get the blood pumping through them. And if you can, if your hands are on the floor, that's okay. You're going to walk them. We're going to walk over to the left foot. If there's dangling in the air, let's just take an inhale and exhale, bring the hands over to the outside of the left foot. So you can be up in the air, or if you're down towards the floor, that's fine. Take an inhale, exhale, bring them back, walk them back to the middle. Take an in-breath here, and exhale, bring them over to the outside of the right leg. In-breath, exhale, return to the centre. In breath here, exhale, put them back up to the front of the legs and bring them back up into a standing position. Remember, head and exhale, last time to come up, shoulders down and relax. Take a breath. Now, when you're ready, folks, we're going to roll down onto the mat. Again, do that whatever way that you feel comfortable. For me, hands in the front of the body, up nice and tall. Take an in breath, exhale, and coming down. Bend of the knees, hands to the mat, and then knees to the mat. Okay, folks, so we're going to come into a kneeling position first. So once you're down, just get comfortable. If you want to grab some cushions or pillow in front of your knees, you can do so. For our kneeling exercise, folks, ideally we want to be up onto our knees. So again, make sure as we go forward to the mat, our knees are shoulder distance apart. Okay, that's your body, not too close together. Give yourself a good strong base. If it's too much for you, you can rest down onto your feet or tuck the cushion underneath, whatever is easiest for you. But if we're ready and we can come up onto our knees, okay, and we're going to go into our upper singers here. So little fingers touching together, we're going to take an in breath, and on the exhale, we're just going to open up the arms just to shoulder height, okay? In breath, exhale, return. So we're going to start off nice and gentle, so we'll step to the side. Open in our upper singers, shoulder height. One more. Exhale down. This time we're going to inhale, we're going to inhale right up above the head, and exhale back down.
hands into the mat, try and do the mat. Try straighten the legs as much as you can by getting the heel on the floor and pulling the toes towards the water. And just breathe through the stretch and through the nose and out through the mouth. And through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. Get up the back of the leg into the hamstring. Exhale, then just foot flat to the floor, slide the foot back, tuck it back in, and we're going to change legs. So come up in the nice, that one leg needle position, try to slide the foot out the on the line of the body, hands down to the mat, heel to the floor, get a nice straight legs as much as you can, and just breathe. Feeling that stretch up the hamstring. Good afternoon, folks, curl, curl the toes up towards your face.
knees here, sit up nice and tall. That's fine too. Just take a few breaths in our recovery. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathe in nice and gentle. And on your next exhale, then just come out of child's pose. Okay, give us a walk some of the mat a little bit. Shift back on the feet to child's pose. Our next move, we're just going to come from here to our kneeling position. Okay, and back down again. So we're going to treat this one like a move. So make sure up out of child's pose, we're all tucking the feet. Knees are going to be still about shoulder distance. Okay, so don't have them sitting in that wide frog pose. Make sure they're in nice and straight line with the hips. We're going to take an inhale here. And on the exhale, we're going to try and push the body up without using the hands, keeping the core engaged. Just double check those knees. We need to bring them in a little bit, okay? Or are they really close? So we need to bring them into shoulder distance. Up nice and tall. Take a in breath here. Exhale, we're sitting back down onto the feet. Now throwing ourselves back, controlling it off of the core, spines long and strong. In breath and powers, exhale, we push up. Top, we take an inhale. Exhale, we lower. If you need to use your hands, folks, if it's too much for you, that's fine. One more. Breath at the top, exhale lower. Well done. Okay, final move on our front. We'll go back under our belly. So if you treat this one like an exercise, like a move, we're coming up at the tabletop, walking the hands forward, onto the fronts of the knees, the thighs, lower down, tummy, then chest. Just going to wriggle back a little bit for you. We're going into our cobra, folks. If you know cobra's too much for you, stick with a swan dive. Shoulders out. It's peeling the upper of the chest off the mat. Okay, that's fine. If you can do cobra, bring the hands in a little bit closer to the body. We're taking an inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, we're extending right up. Pushing through the hands. Straighten up the arms. Okay. Inhale up top. Exhale lower. Feel that one a lot more in the lower back. Again, keep the feet always in contact with the floor. In breath, pairs. Exhale, push. Any strain or pressure, folks, just stick with the swan dive. Last two. If you can. Exhale, down. Last one for me. Well done. Once you're down again, folks, you can bring your hands in, rest the forehead, and take a few breaths here. Okay, stand on the left side. Okay, stand on the same side. We're going to wind our side plank. 
the feet. I'm just going to, I'm just going to turn myself a little bit better here so you can see me and I can stay on the mat. But I'm staying on my left side, folks. And I want you to come up under your elbow. Make sure your elbow is under your shoulder. And we have a couple of options for our side plank. So we bend up that bottom leg. Your left side will be your left leg. Right leg will stay in contact with the floor and stay out nice and strong. You're going to take an in-breath. Top hand can be used for support here as well. In-breath, exhale, push up. Just try to get hip off the mat, okay? Just get a little bit of air between the hip and the floor. So that'll be a lift and a back down. Don't need to hold it too long and never hold the breath. Level two, step the feet out to the top of each other. Keep the body nice and low and strong. Again, you can use the top hand if you need to, but you're going to push up and hold the plank. Level three, you can bring the hand in. Back down, slow and steady. Don't just throw the body down. So you choose your level. You're only going to do three on this side. In breath and pairs, you're bending, pushing up, going back down.
Okay, as our side paddle. Okay. So again, bottom leg, which is your right leg, might be better straight out. Gives yourself a bit more balance. Top hand can be used to control the balance. We're taking an in breath. The exhale, bringing the knee up into the chest, and we're pedaling out and around. Well done. In breath in pairs. Exhale, we pedal.
Try to get those toes to the floor if you can. Inhale again. Exhale back by your side. Slow and steady. And breath and purge. Exhale, we go. Try to get both hands working with the same speed. Once you go behind the head, try not to let them speed up and fall to the floor. You control it. Take a breather. 
the exhale, one hand's gonna go out behind the head, opposite hand's coming down to the floor by our side. And I want you to push the stretch right through from the top fingertip, all the way down to the bottom fingertips. Inhale, pairs, exhale, the windmill goes through, hands meet at the same point above the body. Top hand is pulling, bottom hand pushing away. Getting that stretch right through the body. Body focusing in. Focus in on the breath, folks, and the movement of the arms. Try and keep the mind empty of other things. Get that stretch right from the fingertips, the top to the fingertips of the bottom. exercises, focus on the in-breath and the out-breath. Big 
each time. And then smaller. And change in direction. Hope you all enjoyed it. There will be a new video up again next week. In the meantime, have a great week.